Microecosystems can exist in locations which are precisely defined by critical environmental factors within small or tiny spaces. Such factors may include temperature, pH, chemical milieu, nutrient supply, presence of symbionts or solid substrates, gaseous atmosphere aerobic or anaerobic, etc. Some examples Pond microecosystems These microecosystems with limited water volume are often only of temporary duration and hence colonized by organisms which possess a drought-resistant spore stage in the life cycle, or by organisms which do not need to live in water continuously. The ecosystem conditions appleying at a typical pond edge can be quite different from those further from shore. Extremely space-limited water ecosystems can be found in, for example, the water collected in bromeliad leaf bases and the «pitchers» of Nepenthes. <laughs> Soil microecosystems A typical soil microecosystem may be restricted to less than a millimeter in its total depth range owing to steep variation in humidity and or atmospheric gas composition. The soil grain size and physical and chemical properties of the substrate may also play important roles. Because of the predominant solid phase in these systems, they are notoriously difficult to study microscopically, with Neuhaut simultaneously disrupting the fine spatial distribution of their components. Topic: <laughs> Terrestrial hot spring microecosystems. These are defined by gradients of water temperature, nutrients, dissolved gases, salt concentrations etc. Along the path of terrestrial water flow the resulting temperature gradient continuum alone may provide many different minute microecosystems, starting with thermophilic bacteria such as archaea, archaebacteria. 100 plus degrees C, followed by conventional thermophiles 60 to 100 degrees Celsius, cyanobacteria blue-green algae such as the motile filaments of oscillatoria 30 to 60 degrees Celsius, protozoa such as amoeba, rotifers, then green algae 0 to 30 degrees Celsius, etc. Of course other factors than temperature also play important roles. Hot springs can provide classic and straightforward ecosystems for microecology studies as well as providing a haven for hitherto undescribed organisms. <laughs> Deep sea microecosystems The best known contain rare specialized organisms, found only in the immediate vicinity sometimes within centimeters of underwater volcanic vents or «smokers». These ecosystems require extremely advanced diving and collection techniques for their scientific exploration. Closed microecosystem One that is sealed and completely independent of outside factors, except for temperature and light. A good example would be a plant contained in a sealed jar and submerged under water. No new factors would be able to enter this ecosystem. <laughs> 